Oh, I hit the record button so you guys can't judge me. I did not forget, okay? Okay, guys, we have an amazing show. Yes, I brought my water. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. I am your host. I, 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 gotta, I gotta buckle up. I gotta buckle up for this episode. We got Mr. I-25, guys, in the show. The one and only Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. Go tell your friends and family. Come through. Yeah. What is up everybody can you believe it today is january 20th a lot of things are happening today but the most important thing is we got another live show here for you ariel's entertainment podcast i am your host guys let's give a huge shout out to our huge guest today i'm so stoked mr i25 where you at come through yo what's up what's going on what's going on nice nice guys oh my goodness we got a packed show, fun, exciting show. Like I said, a lot of things are happening today. So let's get straight to the business. Cause you like my boy shirt says here, you gotta pay, 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 pay me. Here we go. Let's get straight to the business. Uh, you guys know the best way to support me, Ariel ariel.ent.com. Let me pull that up right now. I should come prepared, but you know me, I'm human. There we go. Red t-shirt, white t-shirt, sticker and pen. Cop it right now at the store. Arielent.com is an amazing, amazing way to support me. So tell your friends and family, guys. Arielent.com is the website. And that's where you can catch all my photography, all my podcasts, and all my music. Get yeah. Arielent.com. You guys like the flag in the background. We got Mr. I-25's background as well. We're going hard today, straight up. Guys, another way to support me is to share, like, follow, and subscribe. So tell your friends and family, grab the link and share with your brother, share with your mom and dad. I know I share everything with my family. So get on the iMessage, get on your iMessage, your iText messages and send them the link. Yeah. So share, like, subscribe, follow. Another way to support me, guys, is to donate. You know, I want to do this for the rest of my life. I love doing this so much. This is my passion, uh, talking to other artists and um, just putting out into the community. If you guys can go to arielent.com, I, I give shout outs to restaurants. I give shout outs to local people here, anybody. So I'm so happy to be part of the community here. Arielent.com, a great way to support me. PayPal, Venmo, there's the links below. So make sure you uh, help me out guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see here, I have to write down the notes here because I like to forget things. You guys like the new white Ray-Bans? I got the white Ray-Bans going on today. Not the, I don't got the other ones on today because I decided to switch it up. Yep, I'm Mr. Homeboy right here. All right, guys, let's do a quick prayer. I wanna say thank you, God, for bringing Mr. I-25 to the show and for him to share his wisdom with us um, for our perfect health, for the food that we're able to eat, our families and our jobs and the money we're able to have to get the things we need and us to appreciate the little things in life and keep sickness away from us. Thank you, God, for answering our prayers and thoughts. Amen. That's it. That's all you got to do. The more you do that, more positive things come into your life. Mr. I-25, tell us who you are, where we What's can up? follow you, bro. Boom. What's up, my Mr. I-25 from Denver, Colorado. You can follow me on King Daddy on Instagram. And Mr. I-25 on every streaming platform you can think of. Nice. I like that. Mr. I-25, I got you right here on the YouTube. We're going to, guys, you got to hang on tight, buckle up. Like I said, we're going to play a song from my boy here. I can't wait. And it's right here on YouTube. You can subscribe, Mr. I-25. And you know me, I do it live. So if you can see here, the subscribe button, I hit the button. I'm subscribed right now, and that's what we do. We help each other out, guys. So, Mr. I-25, tell us how long you've been in the rap game, bro. For two years. <laughs> two strong years. Nice, man. So you took it to the next level two years ago, huh? Yeah, I decided, yo, let's, let's kick it up. Let's I, get my name. <laughs> 100, man. And so uh, what made you realize that was it like okay i figured out this is what i want to do for the rest of my life okay i love the energy i put out on the stage or what what is it that you makes you want to do this your passion well the music i listen to like rap has so many genres there's so many different types of rap music but the rap music i listen to is like it's really like so hip-hop you know what i mean so it's from west coast underground talking about people like the jacker 
and uh, Jay Diggs and things like that. Filthy Rich, he's kind of known around that. Like Bernie, I listen to these people and like they talk about the rap, the life they rap about the life that I live. So like, of course, I start feeling like, yo, I listen to enough of that music. I'm like, yo, I got a story to tell too. You know yeah, I mean? and I see somebody want want to hear it, just like I want to hear that. You know what I mean? So that just it pulled me in. <laughs> Nice, man. And like you said, we all got a story to tell and we everybody is interesting, man. It's just sometimes we're hard on ourselves and we don't feel that way. But everybody's interesting, dude. That's how I feel. And so when I heard what made me find you, man, shout out to my boy, Turn Up TV, Lance, what's up? Uh, he does. Um, he does. Uh, what does he do? He does open mics. Uh, he used to before the COVID. That's where I saw you, man. And that's what I saw you kill it all the time on stage. You would kill it on the open mics, but you would play, you'd be like first all the or I don't know how I saw you like a few times there, you'd kill it all the time. And uh yeah, man, you came with style, you came and just kill it, you came on the stage and just killed it. And that's how I found you out, man. You I I love the energy the first time I saw you play on stage. And so uh ever since then I've been a fan. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's where I met you. <laughs> the turned up TV with, with Lance for real. I like. Yo, that 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 help really helped solidify those times when we would be able to freestyle uh, perform. Those times really would help solidify what I wanted to do. Like y'all like this, I like this feeling. I like yeah. this feeling of people reacting to the music that I make. <laughs> it's it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. It's an amazing feeling, isn't it? And it kind of you know, uh, yeah. Um, I'm just looking forward to get back doing do that again, man. And I ain't getting and I ain't getting no vaccine either to get get to that point either. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> I, I'm pretty healthy. I, don't, I haven't got sick yet this year. <laughs> like I've been pretty persistent on washing my hands and everything else. Yeah, do me too. I've been persistent washing my hands, been persistent eating healthy, like eating healthy, getting sunlight and uh, staying away from all that crap, bro. This this year has really made me realize like yo, health is definitely wealth. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> like health, you is, health is priority, bro. And it it it, it took a, it's it's messed up. It took a virus for people to really start paying attention and washing their hands and stuff like that. Like normal people do. Like I'm pretty sure you and me have been doing. <laughs> but, yeah. Hey, the hey. thing yeah, this year what what got me most is uh like you said, eating healthier. And so like I've been cutting out tons of sugar out. I've been cutting out, um, I've been cutting out coffee, bro, and been drinking tea. Does that, does that, does the caffeine, is it the same? Does it make, help you feel oh, the same? Yep. No, no, I'm so, no, dude, so you know what I do instead is what I do first thing in the morning. First, I wake up, I stretch a little bit in the bed, you know, get ready. And then I do, okay, you know, my little affirmations or my, my prayers, my great, my gratefulness, I, what I'm doing for a little bit. Actually, I do it all day, but in the beginning, I do it real quick. And then I set up for work. And then, dude, I cut me up oranges. And I cut me up like two or one up in fours and just bite into it, dude. Just, or if you rip one open with your hands, all that citrus flows in the air for all, all like that wakes my ass up, dude. It, it's like a, it gets you there. That's what's yeah, up. <laughs> dude. So I'll eat me some couple oranges or like an apple. And then um, I'll have me some like hot water with, and then I'll squeeze me some lemon. And then, yeah, man. <laughs> and then, <laughs> dude, yeah, hot water with lemon, dude. And then that clears out all my sinuses. And then and then if and then it cleans out all my body and then I make a tea called dandelion tea and then I, I squeeze more lemon in that and then I put a daily tea of dandelion and dude I am just like top dude I'm just elevated bro. Baby, that's what's up. <laughs> so that's, that's my new morning, man. Yeah, I cut out coffee. I'd say probably like three weeks ago, dude. I cut out coffee like three weeks ago. That's like. That's literally like the most addictive drug in the world. So, congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, I, I don't drink. I cut. I quit. I quit alcohol like two years ago. So yeah, I don't yeah. drink anymore. Yeah, I don't drink anymore. That's good. I don't drink either. Like only thing I do is four twenty. Like yeah, <laughs> if that, then I I'm good on it. <laughs> yeah, man. And so like that's like what you said. Like it took something. Like I always ate healthy, but this year it made me realize like okay, I really pay attention to what I put in my body, man, and 
and just be ready, bro. I don't know. Coffee always gave me the jitters, sweats, and just like, I don't know. And so I feel like sometimes it would make me um, sneeze a lot. <laughs> well, you see, I, I got to take the caffeine with the, with the pre-workout. Because if I don't take the pre-workout, I don't, I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> yeah. The workout is not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Like I want to. So I have to get that caffeine. I nice, have, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. My, my girlfriend loves her coffee, dude. She's like, she likes to do like the routine I try to do, but then she's like, okay, I need my coffee. Give me my coffee. And then she's like, ready, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, dude. So, yo, man, uh, you lived in Denver your whole life? Yeah. Yeah. My whole life, born and raised. Damn, we call that native here. We call, we call that native right now, dude. And, um, you know, what What made you get into rap? I know two years was, like, serious for you, but what made you get into it? Was it the artist you listened to? Was it, like, you saw an artist when you're in first grade, it's kindergarten, was your brother or sister or something that influenced you? Well, it, a lot of it, like, was Tupac. You know what I mean? Like, I listened to a lot of Tupac when I was a kid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And things of that nature. So, like, when I got older, I found a different genre of people who, who were rapping, but they're also telling a story. And they were telling a deep story. And they got, and I felt it like I was reading a book. You know what I mean? So, like, I listened to this, and I'm like, yo, I got a story to tell. I got, I got a man, I got some wisdom that I want to spread with the world. You know what I mean? Like, and it it it's gradual, you know what I mean? At first I was like, yo, maybe I can. And then, but like anything in this world, you gotta, it has to come from within, you know what I mean? So one day I was just like, yo, I can do it. <laughs> I can do it, I know I can do it, I can do it. And hey, I'm, I, and I, you know, through the progression, like there's, there's a way I want my music to sound. And I haven't, and I still feel like I haven't reached that potential yet. Like I, I haven't felt like, sending my meshes out clearly enough like mm-hmm. but as i grow my mm-hmm. music is becoming more and more something like i'm i'm literally cherishing like man i hear some things i write sometimes i'll be like wow can't believe i came out my brain <laughs> and i can't wait to tell the world feels the same way about my music you know what i mean like that's that's one thing that i always think about like man i can't wait till somebody really feels this shit like i feel you know what i mean like i mean there's people out there i got fans i got my loyal fans and stuff that they, they always right there. But it, I want to reach outside my fans and be like, really reach people in all aspects of this music industry and be like, yo, I like that message that he's doing. Besides, I know it's rap music, but I dig it. Yeah, <laughs> you know I mean? yeah, yeah. What's a, what do you think is a good way to do that? Hey, just talk, be real. You know what I mean, be real. That's what I want. Like, I can't lie in my music. Anything that I'm saying in my music, I live. It's something that I've lived in my life. So it's like, the more real you is, that's, I feel like, more people drawn to you. You know what I mean? Because that's how, that's that's what it is in real life. <laughs> in Dude, real life. yeah. Don't, don't sugarcoat it. Don't put that fake shit dude like people like that real raw shit don't put that edit shit in for sure like they want to know what the real it, not everything is about doing drugs and being happy all the time there's a there's a there's a space where you gotta learn to be happy and that's where i want my music to shoot you know what i mean yeah like, okay people are going through something and be like yo put on that mr i-25 man so i can just vibe and really think about life <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> Good. I'm I'm happy. You know what I mean? You you know what? For real, bro. I love your message. Like we're all we're all doing a different message. We're all doing it for like you know we're all doing this in the love and we're doing this for positivity and that's all that matters, man. But we all have a different message. That was your message. For me, my message is like I want people to check in on my shit and just be like, yo, this is a place for. If I want to have fun, if I want to have an exciting time, if I just want to have like a great time, this is where I check in his shit. You know what I mean? And, and you know what I mean? we all have the same message, but a different message, but it's all real, dude. And that's what I, and that's why I'm writing notes here is like being real um, and living it, bro. I feel that like if you lived it and you're being real, you have way more of an advantage. 
period, instead of just imagining, like, when you live something, you can feel it deeper. It's deeper than an emotional feeling. You're like, yo, I remember being like that. Like, when I say something, like, in my music, like, yo, I remember being down and out, looking up at the sky, wondering if, it, if there's somebody there. Like, that's something that I really happened in my life. I was like, yo, I'm asking. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? But just like anything in life, there was a, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. In yeah. my new song, that's what I that's what I'm talking about. All I know, I know, there was no I was walking in the dark until I found the light. You know what I mean? Like it, I'm starting and I'm drawing towards it. So that's what that's 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 where I'm trying to go with my music. <laughs> yeah, man. Like you said, towards the light with your music, I dig that, bro. Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Like, and it's easy to write music. It's easier to write things, write about things that you've done lived. You know what I mean? That's and that's what I've learned. That people, that's what I like to listen to. That's what I figured people would like to listen to. Because yeah. every day somebody wants to listen to, hey, let's let's go get high and <laughs> right. Sometimes, but you know what I mean? Sometimes you just not feeling like that. But sometimes you just feeling like let's try to make it through the day. <laughs> oh, for real though. Enough with the you know. I, I agree. I agree. Um, totally, hundred percent agree. There's days where I'm just like, okay, it's cool to listen to the party, and then there's some days where I just want to listen to some real shit. So, um, dude, what have you learned being in the game for two years, deep in it? What have you learned from uh, making music, man? There's gonna be some haters. <laughs> there's <laughs> gonna be some haters. And it's gonna be people from your own city sometimes that be like, because hey, for me, I show everybody love. You right. Know what I mean, like, I don't, I don't, that's not the vibe I like. I don't like the negative, uh, hating ass vibe that people tend to just, just have. Dude, you know what I mean? that's like, what I liked care. about, dude, that's what I gotta say. When I always saw you at Turn Up TV's concerts, bro, you came in, you showed love, you did your thing, you're in and out, but you weren't like, like, Check you 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 were all about love, dude, and spreading positivity and, and networking, bro. But you weren't just all about yourself, and I dig that. That's 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 in life, you know what I mean? Like just that's what I that's what I draw towards, just being positive and just getting to know people. <laughs> dude, I hundred percent agree, bro. That's awesome. So like we were saying though, um you you realize that you'll find some haters in what you've been doing in the music game. Yeah, man, like, I, I I post my music all the time on multiple platforms, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, YouTube. Yeah, 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 <laughs> but yeah. when it'd be in the comment section, it'd be one guy, and they'll try to create that snowball effect. And it happens sometimes where they'd be like, this guy sucks. And then, like, oh. there'll be two more guys be like, yeah, he sucks. What about that part? And then there'll be another guy. But then the, what gets me is they'll be like, I listen to this guy's, I listen to five of his songs. You know what? I don't like him. I'm like, <laughs> took you that long, huh? <laughs> five? That's cool. I appreciate it. Though. Yeah. Like, you have to learn to look at it be like, yo, at least I'm getting some listens. They hear something. Yeah. Eventually they, they might turn around and be like, hey, I remember that dude because I remember I did that to people before. For sure. Hear their music at first and be like, and then you hear it again, like, oh, okay, yeah, I feel it. Yeah. <laughs> I remember it from a couple of years ago. But yeah, the hate, man, it's just, it's everywhere. And it's just got to learn how to deal with it. Just yeah. learn to feed off of it, really. That's what I like. That's why I personally started calling myself King of Colorado. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just because that's, that's how I feel and how I see myself in my head. Call me big headed, call me whatever. But you know what I mean? And, I'm, and I pissed off some people. <laughs> I done pissed off some people by saying it, but yo, nah, duh. let's start rap. You know what I mean? Let's start rap beat. <laughs> that's, what I'm, that's what I'm putting right here. King of Colorado. That's what I'm talking about right here. That's my new album, by the way. King of Colorado, volume two. So just came out on streaming platforms. So check that out. Nice. That's what I like to hear. King of Colorado, volume two. Check him out, Mr. I-25. No, no one else does it better. Guys, let's check it out. We got some music here because the homeboy's busy. So we got a couple more questions and we got to let him go. The limo's waiting out for him right now. So we got to get straight to it, guys. Let me bring up the song I want to share with all of you. 
Um, let's share the screen here. I'm brand new to still to this. Um, uh, I've done, I've done, like, I think I've done over 50 Zooms and I'm still learning it, dude. Like it's still, it's still brand new to me. I don't know what's wrong with me. All right, here we go. Boom. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Mr. I-25, I'm going to put on all I know is, here we go. Oh, I got the right thing for us right now. Yeah, let's put it up right now. Oh, yeah. all about all the community baby I'm all, about, I'm all about that action, bro. I don't know what happened, guys. Uh, minor technical difficulties, it happens, but we're towards the end of the show. So thank you guys for all your patience. You know where it's at. Let's give a huge shout out to my boy, King of Colorado. Check out his album, King of Colorado, volume two himself, Mr. I-25. Mr. I-25, tell us what just happened. I don't know. <laughs> Is technical technology. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm blaming it on too, dude. All right, bro. Okay. Let's look back two years ago. Okay. Let's look back two years ago when you're thinking about when you're like, all right, let's, let's do it. I'm headed. I'm going. I'm doing it right now. Let's do it. Dude, tell me. What would you tell yourself two years ago what you know right now? Don't be scared. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Don't be scared. Don't care about nobody. Pain. Because honestly, it when it first start when I because I, like I said I've been making putting out music too long, so when I first start putting out music and I started getting that first negative feedback, it kind of messed with me. It was like I kind of internalized it, you know. I was like, yo, and I didn't write for like a month, and I was like, yo, that really messed with me like that, and it did a little bit. But I guess you gotta go through things like that to even Dude. understand. I was thinking, dude, so who are you going for for the Super Bowl? Or who are you, dude, are you watching football? Do you watch football? I do not watch sports. <laughs> I'll be, I, I, like, I be hustling and shit, so I got to keep moving. So, like, when I was in jail, I was on sports. I was always following them because I was gambling and shit. But now that I'm out, I'm <laughs> going right over my head. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, for sure, dude. I get it. I get it. Um, I bought the PS4, and for like for for like a first couple of years, I didn't even touch it because, like you said, I was always just on the go and go, just doing making moves. You know, I was just like, no, nah, I don't got time for the PS4. But now I'm all about the PS4, dude. But no, I get it. I get it. Yeah, I got that's. I use mine for mostly movies. <laughs> nice. Dude, so speaking of that, so I was going to ask you your next question, your favorite hobbies and things to do. So you like to watch movies? Oh, yeah, I'm a big movie buff. Like, I'm in, and like reading and shit. I'm into like the fairies, the goblins, the the ghosts, the aliens, yeah. the monsters, the, anything fantasy. I'm on it. Like, that's my, that's my escape for real. Yeah, <laughs> dude. I like that stuff too. Um, I know you're native here in Colorado. Somebody was not here from Colorado and wanted to travel out here. Name me one fun thing, uh, you know, if, when COVID's gone. Well, name one fun thing to do here in Denver, Colorado that you like doing. I like doing, uh, I don't know, let's see. There's Dave and Busters. Where? Dave yeah. <laughs> there you go. You know what I mean? That's something that's indoors because it the weather can turn at any moment here. So like, it's good to find some inside to do. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. like, like when COVID wasn't around, I love going downtown to like the Taste of Colorado and stuff okay. like that. Never, or the when they'd have all the food trucks go down there and do all that stuff. But that, that kind of stuff is few and far between now. <laughs> Yeah, no, for sure, man. I remember the taste of Colorado. That's cool. I like that. And then um, Dave and Buster's. I think that's pretty cool. And then uh, what was the third one you said, Dave and Buster's? Uh, Boondocks. Boondocks. Okay. I'm glad you said that because I got to take my girl to go putt putt. The show. <laughs> Boondocks. Where is that? Straight up. You go to the one north or the one south? The one up north. Yeah, dude, that's a good one. That's a good one. I think they have the the the, the little golf cart racing there too. The, the cart racing. <laughs> yeah, they sure do, man. They sure do. Those are some good places, yo. So, thank you so much for coming on to the show. It's uh kind of weird what happened but it is what it is i don't even care man i don't even care about that i'm just so happy you came on to the show dude i mean me too <laughs> That's i appreciate it. yeah thank you so much man guys listen to mr i25 on youtube and all social platforms where can they find you one more time uh king daddy 303 on instagram and mr i25 on all streaming platforms boom Bam! That's how we do it. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. Remember, guys, if you like this, don't forget to share, follow, like, subscribe, and drop some comments, drop some feedback of what you think about the show. You know, we got some we got some uh, technology issues, but that ain't no thing. I'm going to leave it in here so you guys can love it. That's how we do it. We keep it real raw and edit it out. So we're going to leave that in there. Guys, thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for subscribing. Okay, and thank you for following Ariel ENT POD on the Instagram. ArielENT.com is a great way to support me. I got my merch. Remember that, guys, and a great way to support me with the donations as well. Um, I got my PayPal and uh, my Venmo. Guys, I won't forget you. I won't forget best friends. Thank you so much for all your support as well. Um, I got to give a quick shout out to my boy Thomas. Quick shout out to my boy Prancer. Shout out to uh, Twisted Grape Radio and shout out to Nick Fiore. Nick Fiore, Twisted Grape Radio, guys. Thank you so much for all your shout outs that you put me on the radio station. It means the world a lot and uh, means the world uh, to me that you guys uh, help me out. So, Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. Go check out my boy's album. Here it is King of Colorado, Volume Two. That's my boy, Mr. I 25. Huge shout out. We're grateful and honored you came on, man. God bless. Take care, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's how we do, guys. God bless, self love, be grateful. Here we go. Here's my, uh, I'll edit this part out. Here's the intro, baby. Yeah. Don't let it bring you down. 
just get up and move, baby. That's all it is, is be happy, be grateful for all we got. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. Shout out to my boy, Mr. I-25. Check him out, follow him, support him. Guys, Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. Don't forget to share, like, follow, subscribe. Yeah. Holla at your boy. Come through.